Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Winnebago Lady Indians basketball hosting the Santee Warriors. Asante Warriors. My name is Eugene Nakora, joined by Mr. Quince Bass. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. A little little time off from uh, doing the live stream. I want to. I want to say uh, greetings to everybody listening today, everybody watching on the live stream, everybody listening on the radio, 100.9. Uh, tonight's a, another uh, good night of Lady Indians basketball. The season is coming. The season is coming to an end. We only have a few games left in the schedule, and uh, some of our relatives from up north came down for uh, a night full of basketball. So I'm excited to see what a uh, what uh, the Winnebago Lady Indians got tonight in store for them. So I know that uh, I know Santee, the girls. I know they were uh, ranked earlier in the season. I think they were ranked number nine. They started off really well, and then they uh, ran into some issues with uh, uh, COVID, and uh, I think a, a spike of COVID was up on uh, the Santee res and, and uh, lost some girls to sickness and stuff. And uh, now they're um, they're trying to fight to get back to 500 before the season's over. So uh, yeah. Uh, I think uh, I heard somebody say that most of the girls are back, so it should be interesting tonight. Yeah, looking forward to a great ball game tonight. Welcome the uh, Isanti Warriors into town. Winnebago Lady Indians playing the host. Winnebago Lady Indians are 4-12 and on the season, and the Asante Warriors are going to, I just heard from their coach, at 7-10, and is believe what I had them at. So records... Throw them out the window right now. I think we're looking at ourselves to host a good ball game today. Yeah, end of the season. We were just talking about this, Eugene. End of the season, you know, it's it's uh, it's really, really not about your record. You know, it's not about your record. It's about the uh, the flow that your team has, the the rhythm that they have in, toward the end of the season. Because once you hit those postseason tournaments, you know, you want to be at your at your highest level and. And tonight, you know, it's going to be a, a good one for both these teams here because I bet you they're both looking for a win. Again, shout out to all those relatives up north up there in the Santee Reservation. Looking out to you guys. Thanks for joining on the stream. Keep yourself safe and healthy. Inviting and uh, welcoming all our Winnebago viewership back to the back to the stream. We took a night off, like uh, Mr. Quince Bass said. But, man, I got to say, we've covered a lot of great basketball in the past two weeks. And here we are winding it down last two games of the season for the lady indians they're hosting santee here tonight and then the next one will be down in west point at gacc guardian angel central catholic them girls always got a good ball game ball game our ball team but i know that the sub district pairings did come out one bagel has to go down and play i don't know how my phone is charging right now but i know that brld is number one brld moved they, up i think they play wayne yep that's right wayne Wayne's sitting at like a 50, 50, a little bit under 500 record. So they've got to get through Wayne first in the first round. That game will be down in Bancroft, which is nice. You know, I know I know Bancroft does a great job, and Garen and his son was able to broadcast the last game down there. So maybe those guys will have that one covered up for that first round. But looking forward to it, man. The Lady Indians have kind of caught some fire. They are without their senior leader tonight. Miss Aria Means will not be playing tonight, which is... Uh, a little bit of a downer as it being senior night and whatnot, but she has played a great season for these Lady Indians and probably just healing up, getting ready for the postseason. Yeah, you know, uh, missing somebody like that, of that caliber on your team, this is a perfect time for one of these other young ladies to step up. And, you know, we always talk about her being a, not only a walking 20 piece, but a walking double double. Now, somebody has to pick up those other 10 rebounds and those other 20 points. So I hope some of these young girls get hot tonight from the outside on the three-pointer because I know they like to shoot them. And I hope uh, some of those big girls down there uh, get get the ball down low and post up moves and, and make some buckets down there too to, to make up for uh, Means being out tonight. So I think who you're going to be looking at for that tonight on the Winnebago end is going to be uh, my own daughter, Kelsey DeCora, her senior year, man, her last game on this floor right here for her. So I know she's super excited to get some playing time and get things down tonight. And I believe they even brought up uh, Cherish. Cherish... Um, Oh yeah, I'll Flying be, Hawk, Cherish okay. Flying Hawk. Yeah, she was she was doing a, a lot of work for that JV squad. Hey, that's that's awesome to see one of the other young young ladies get the call. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. He's a senior this year, like you said, can't hold nothing back at this point in the season, yeah. like you're talking about. A lot of a lot of players, a lot of players don't get their call. You know, a lot of players don't get their call. But hey, tonight Cherish gets her call, so let's go. Yeah, looking forward to that. Hearing from those two seniors. I'm looking down the roster over here for the Wombody Warriors, and I'm seeing maybe three seniors on their team. So a lot of young girls out here for the Asante Warriors. And, you know, looking forward into next season a little bit, you know, Bagel's got a nice, good, young core. They do lose the height when Kelsey and Aria walk out the door. But the, the outstanding freshman, I'm going to keep saying my praises to her, is going to be um, Miss uh, Teresa Big Bear. Oh, yeah. Man, she is a star in the making down here in Winnebago. You guys, number 12, when you see her getting the game, she is a little bit of a spark plug for this team. Yes. When, when we talk about Tressa, I always remember how I always talk about on the defensive end. I talk about the wingspan on the defensive end. You know, Tressa's like that, too, like how we talk about uh, Mr. Tebow and that boys team. Long wingspan can cover a lot of room in a passing lane. So, so yeah, I... I agree. Let's keep our eye on Tressa. She's going she's gonna to have to play a big part tonight. All right, folks. Well, we are looking forward to it. We want to give a big shout-out to all our listeners on the radio. KWTN 100.9, Allen, Nebraska, Big Voice Radio. Man, that thing came up in them tunes, man, all day long. You can bump power music. It's yeah. some 49 tunes. You can even get a – you hear some peyote jams on there. Man, you get round dances, and you name it. They got a good little mix they throw up on that thing. Yeah. Yep. Hey, uh, huge, you know, night to night when we're broadcasting, we always give some shout outs. You know, I, I know that the, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of fans from the Santee Warriors School uh, up there up north uh, listening tonight on the radio and also to be watching the live stream. So all the Santee relatives, I want to say a ho. Uh, me and Eugene trying to bring you a good game tonight. And then I, I'm going to be giving a couple shout outs throughout the evening. And a uh, first shout out, send out to my my bro Dion Lapointe. He's up there in Santee. He's got a his uh, his youth center up there at the Warrior Lodge. They're going to be having a pizza party, watching a game tonight on the big screen, and uh, cheering cheering on their Warriors from afar. So uh, shout out to you, Dion. Uh, my brother Dion is a cancer survivor. Uh, my dad recently uh, survived cancer. I want to say uh, prayers out to you, Dion, and all the work you do up there with the young people. Hey, shout out to Dion also. I know that we're working on uh, our own little volleyball, kind of back and forth, yep. um, kind of home and aways with those guys. And Dion's a big youth supporter of sports up there in Santee. So I want to give a big shout out to you. Me and Quinn's both know how uh, difficult it can be at times to get your kids out there and get parents involved and, you know, make things happen for these kids. Because, you know, on these reservations that we live on, hey, man, we just want the best for them. You know, we're going to try our best to do what we can. And so uh, our little league that we used to play in up there in Sioux City, uh, it, it no longer exists, from my understanding, the volleyball league. And they always played spring volleyball. They always, you could get games in in the fall, and then they could even get games in in the springtime. But uh, we're kind of fighting the fighting the schedule. So you know what? We're going to go ahead. I even got a Mr. Chris Ross down there in Walt Hill even reached out, and we're going to do our own little uh, kind of Native American league down here at Whirling Thunder. You know, we'll be probably doing a couple travel away games, things like that. So that's in the works, folks. You got some volleyball going on for those youth. And so down here in Winnebago, I know we're going to be doing like third and fourth combined, fifth and sixth, trying to work to get three teams out there. So be look, be on the lookout to get those kids signed up. Yes, all, all you former volleyball players, all you uh, former awesome varsity volleyball players, you ones that went off to college and uh, got some more experience, uh, we need coaches. We need coaches. You know, we need coaches that are dedicated to these kids each and every day throughout the whole year, not just during the season, you know. That whole attitude about, you know, youth sports coaches, you know, all these girls that came out here and are playing right now, seniors all the way down to freshmen. You talk about at the junior high level. At some point, they had a youth coach. Yes, and sir. if you guys remember when you were playing, all our listeners, you know, you had a coach at one time. And, you know, that's what it takes, that volunteerism and that need that uh, exists in our communities to get you guys out there and get involved because, you know, you can make a lasting impact on these kids' lives, whether it's very small or it's a large impact. You know, you got to show them the love of the game first. We'll start there, right? Yep. got to show them the love. And then from there, they kind of follow what, you know, they're really into, whether it's basketball, volleyball. Now we got wrestling. Now we yep. got 
golf. You know, I mean, there's all kinds of opportunities out here for these kids to be playing. You know, uh, Dion's uh, Warrior Lodge, all these girls right here played for his, his youth team coming up. So now they're all in varsity. All right, folks, I believe we are going to get through these starting lineups, and then it's going to be Winnebago varsity girls action. Winnebago is hosting the Asante Warriors out of Santee, Nebraska. We are going to get our national anthem and our flag song. Winnebago flag song will be sung. Oh, Quince, we never got an opportunity to sing the flag song live, man. No, I'm going to sing along tonight. Ah, there you go. All right, so let's see here. Let's see what we got here for the starters. I believe they're going to do Santee's first. And I think they're going to, going to recognize our seniors this evening for Winnebago girls basketball. Last home game for them. Aria Means. That is the six foot senior not playing tonight. Number 12, oh, Cherish. Cherish or 32, Cherish Flying Hawks, 5'7 senior. Number 44, Kelsey Decora. And I believe there's one more they want to put on there. Oh, it's part of their manager's crew. Kylie Garnett, senior. And Talia Walker. Or is it just Kylie? As the coach hands them a couple plaques, a couple pictures that he got done up for them. So that's going to be your seniors for the night. Like I said, hey, you're not going to lose a lot this year. I was just going to say that. Yeah, you're not going to lose a lot of seniors into going into next season just because, you know, that group of girls, they're, not a lot of them stuck with it, man. And, you know, when you're coaching these youth sports, you can't expect everybody you coach that's going to stick with it and be a senior. And that's the way I kind of talk to, like, my 7th and 8th grade group once they get there. It comes down to the point of, like, hey, look around. There's about 10 of you guys out for this team right now, but by the time you guys get to seniors, there might only be one or two because interests change, things go different, you know. It kind of ain't like when we were young, man. I didn't like that no more, man. Yeah. Like everybody goes out, everybody plays sports. But again, that's that's a big credit to the public school on top of that because there's so much more opportunity for them. Now, yeah, now. And there's your starting lineup for your Asante Warriors. Number four, Taria Tuttle, 5'6", junior. Number 10, Aliyah Wabasha, 5'6", junior. I'm trying to think of the name, sorry guys. Octavia Bluebird, 5'9", senior. Number 13, Aika Frazier, 5'7", sophomore. Wishan Grant Wabasha, 5'6", senior. So not a lot of hype from the Asante girls tonight. Well, good, because one of the biggest don't have too much hype tonight either. <laughs> Number one, Lal Carnes, 5'4", junior. Uh oh. Number 12, Teresa Big Bear, getting the start tonight. Sierra Frenchman, number 23, 5'6", junior. Been playing a lot of big minutes since she's been in the starting lineup. Number 32, Cherish. Oh, Fine yes, there you go. I like to see that. Good job, Trayvon Bear. Number 44, Kelsey Decora. Looking forward to it, folks. Nice. We are going to get into our national anthem and the Winnebago flag song. I hope they give it to Cherish first to let her shoot right after that. Oh yeah, wouldn't that be something, right? All right, folks, bear with us here.
All right, folks, let's play some basketball. Thank you. Let's play basketball. All right, huge. I bet you these girls are fired to start this game, especially the the young the young seniors that uh, that didn't get too much playing time throughout the season. So. I'm really excited to see what happens tonight. Let the seniors go. Looking forward again. Shout out to our sponsors, Iron Horse Bar Casino, Pochunk Incorporated, Big Time Cleaning, LLC, TV Customs, Every Brother Sign Company, and Native Star Casino. We are looking, oh, Every Brother Sign. Yep, we are looking forward to it. All right, guys. Like I said, Quinn's called it right now. First play, cherish on a jumper, right? Yeah. Look for that senior. Let her, let her shoot a three. All right, folks, here we go. We got Teresa Big Bear jumping, and I believe that is Octavia Bluebird standing there, and we got we are playing ball. Tip goes to Santee. Number four's got it. Tuttle throwing it out to the right side. She's going to look way deep in the corner. That's going to be Grant Wabashaw. She kicks it down to number 10 on a drive. She gets rid of it, passed all the way back around three. Santee, uh, see, Santee touched it. Turnover from Octavia Bluebird. One big ball. Yeah, I think Winnebago's coming out with that same the same defense uh, that they've been playing the most part of the season with that 1-3-1, one, 1-2-2 one, 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 two, two look like. Turnover, Winnebago. Layup is missed. Had it all to herself. Oh. Another turnover, Winnebago. Turn around, goes up. Number 11, it's Octavia. Our Bluebird, she gets rid of it. Does not get the shot to go. Winnebago heading the other way. Carnes gets it, gets it down to... Uh, Decora, Decora, trying to get it down to Flying Hawk, and Flying Hawk mishandles it. Ball goes out of bounds. We're going Warrior away. It looks like uh, Santee's coming out with some pretty good pressure. You know, right off the, right off the bat, right off the tip. And uh, uh, let's see what kind of defense they're playing. It looked like they were playing a man to man. One of Bagel's going to come out in there. One, two, two, three, two, kind of three, two zone defense that they've been having a lot of uh, success with this season. So here we go. That's Grant Wabashaw with it on top. Throwing it down there to Wabashaw. To Wabasha. She gives up. Number 11 gets it. That's Bluebird. She throws it up. Jump ball. And then that's Bluebird on the other side getting a jump ball there with Cherish. And we're going one big away. Yeah, it looks like Santee is in a whoa, diamond in one press right now. Seven minutes and ticking. Long pass out here to Cora. She's going to dribble it up the right side. Looks, kick it out to the right side. Trying to get it to Carnes. Tip back in from the Warriors. Carnes puts it up. Tipped away again from there. I uh, the believe that's Tiny Frenchman who's got it on the right side. She's going to drive in. She's got a lane around the block. There's Cherish. She puts Let's it up. Go! Oh! Cherish. That, her that, first two points. That is what I'm talking about right there. Hey, that's that's a moment right there. She remembers for the rest of her life. 630 here. and ticking here in the first quarter. Two to zero. One of Bigo's got the lead. Grant Wabash has got it. Top of the key. Throwing it back and forth with Bluebird. Bluebird looking all the way over here to Whipple. Whipple oh, nice it up top. There's Big Bear in the passing lane. She's got it going up on the left side. Throws it up with the left hand. Fouled by Wabashaw. Big Bear's found herself at the free throw line. That's nice hustle right there. You see her play the passing lane. You know, the, the, she was she was kind of about three, four feet out. And uh, with the extension of her hand, she got her hands in the passing lane, got the tip, got the steal. And here we are, two free throws. I told you guys I was I was kind of raving about yeah. the freshman. And here you go, yeah, making yeah, plays yeah. early. Yep. So that's going to be, I believe, Wabashaw's first foul. First free throw in, oh, out, yeah. and it goes down. There you go. As we're looking through it here, you got a good group of girls on both sides of the ball. Let's just see who's going to make plays. I think there was a lot of nerves in the very beginning, a lot of turnovers there. About two or three each team. Next one off the back iron. Cherish Flynhawk gets a rebound, throws it back oh, out to, nice. to, to Big Bear with the offensive rebound. And there we go, back at the free throw line to shoot two more. Three to zero, six sixteen left here in the first. Hey, it's kind of crazy. The two girls that we mentioned before the game even started are the ones that we're talking about right now. Good rebound by Cherish. You know, get in there as a senior to get in there, and get position on that, and get the rebound, and then kick it out to Tressa. At the first one in and out does not get it to go at the line again. Warriors got to box out though. You know, Cherish just fought through it and ended up pulling that rebound down. So she's gonna hold it back. Hey, we want to hear from you guys in the chat. Uh, really appreciate it when you guys throw comments out there. I mean, Quinn's can kind of talk back and forth with you guys. Second free throw is good. Winnebago nice with a four-point lead. 6-16 to go. Warriors dribbling up the ball. Tuttle's got it. She's at top of the key. Looking around. Winnebago still in that 1-2-2. Two, two. They've got uh, Wabasha in the middle. Ooh, man, nice. you know what? Archimal throws it up. And nothing but net. Three-pointer is good. 4-2-3. Santee is down by one. That's Tiny French who's got on the right side, kicks it to the left or the left wing, sorry. Over there to Carnes. Carnes puts up the floater and hits nothing but nothing on that one. And we're gonna go the other way. Looking at Wendy. Oh, our shamble. There we go. Yeah. Thank you for correcting me. 
All right, here we go. That's Whip Tuttle with it on top. Throwing it back over to Grant Wabashaw. She throws it down to Arshambo. Arshambo right nice back left. to Grant oh, Wabashaw. Nice rebound again puts, by it up on the left, puts it up on the left side. Cannot get it to go. Tiny Frenchman throwing it up front. Carnes has got it. She's skipping it over here to Decora. Decora's going to let that three fly. Let's That's go! Good. That three is good to go. Her That's first three of the season. These seniors right now are impressing me now. Here we go. I think uh, Terrace got three rebounds already. Seven to three. One of Bagels at the lead. Five, 12, and ticking. That is Grant Wabashaw. She's going to drive it in. Bounces off a couple defenders. Does not get it to go. That's our Shambo with the rebound. Gets trapped in the corner. Going to stay here in Santee territory. Good defense by Winnebago right there. Getting their hands up. Getting their hands in the past. Now we've got a lot of new subs coming in. Looks like three girls going out. And three girls checking in here. Checking in is going to be Harlan, Frenchman, and Sheridan sitting down the other three guards. They're going to leave Decora and Flying Hawk out there. Inbound back over here to Grant Wabashaw. She doesn't like what she sees. Looks like they're looking for the Wabashaw down low. Number four is Tuttle's going to put it up. No good. Fighting down there. And that's Grant Wabashaw with the rebound. Nice rebound. Gets her shot to goal. That's about the third one. Finally got one to drop. And being really aggressive going towards the basket. Wabashaw with another bucket. Harlan driving on the left side, finds herself Slow all the way in the corner, Slow trying to throw it up, throws it back up top, wild pass. That's going to be stolen by Frazier. We're going the other way. Frazier's a little, little quick defender right there up on the top. That's what he needs. He's a guard that's quick up on top. Went to the ball, went to Tuttle in the corner, back up top to Grant Wabashaw. She's got it. Going to throw it back to Frazier. Frazier's got Harlan on her. Throws it back in the corner to Grant Wabashaw. She's going to fake and drive down the right side. Does not see it. Back up top. And there's Bluebird, finds herself on that right wing, puts it up. Long rebound, brought down by Frazier. She turns, puts it up. Rebound goes right through Sheridan's hands and goes out of bounds. Yeah, it looked like a couple of the girls from Winnebago was kind of confused where the ball was at now when they didn't even see it and the ball went through the legs. Out of bounds. Oh, hands up. Winnebago sitting in the 2-3, yeah. inbound came, and you're going to get a double dribble out there from Bluebird, and we're going Winnebago way. That was good defense by Decora, number 44. Got her hand in there, made the girl think about what she was doing and made her double drill. Time out. Coach Bear. Hey, shout out to our listeners out there. KWTN 100.9. Allen, Nebraska. Big Voice Radio. I had to rock my Charlie shirt, the number 33. This is when she played for the Tigers. Just finishing up her freshman year down there at Concordia. Shout out to my niece, Charlie. And I had to wear my retro throwback. 2000, 2018 Boys State Basketball Tournament shirt from Winnebago. Hey, we're still looking at looking for it, man. I know that there was going to be a contest at this coming year's Pow Hour, but they were trying to do it in the past. Was who has the oldest Winnebago Pow T-shirt? Oldest Winnebago Pow T-shirt? Yeah. I'd say let's do a Winnebago Indians T-shirt. Let's, ah. let's throw it back. Ah, next thing, next year we'll get to get a contest going. Run you guys, parade you guys out on the court. There you go. Inbound over here, Sheridan. She's gonna push it down the right side. Throws it out up here to Decor. Decor's looking skip pass to Harlan over there on the left wing. She drives to the middle, top of the key, just brings it back out. Doesn't like what she sees. A lot. They got three Indians above the three point line. The lane is wide open right now, and that's uh, tiny. Uh, sorry, uh, Charlie's Frenchman almost gets it stolen. Harlan's gonna drive down the right side. Tries to drop the pass down to Flying Hawk. Mishandled. Good steal out there from Bluebird going the other way. That is Frazier who throws it up, did not get it to go. Ball's being kicked around, and there's Cherish Flynhawk with Another the rebound. rebound. And Sheridan has it, and Blue Frazier's going to get the steal on the backside, does not get it. Number 10 grabs it. Wabashaw gets the steal. Flynhawk with the foul, her first of the game. And that is Wabashaw is going to find herself at the free throw line. Got a couple new subs coming to watch on this replay right here. The three, the three girls from Winnebago are getting spun around. I think they kind of got tired on that, just on that play underneath the basket. The box out's got to come, though. You know what I mean? Like, you've got to box out in that situation. You know, you got three girls against two, and if you just don't put a body on somebody and not box it out, you're not going to get it there. Yeah, I think that, that whole group of people is right directly underneath that basket, too, so it's hard to get a rebound there. Good rebounding out there from Asante. There you go. Good hustle. And here we go. Going the way. Reach. Oh, and that is Miss Wabasha on the missed free throw. Rebound by... I believe that is uh, Lovejoy, right? Yep, that's yep. Lovejoy. She's in the game now along with Grant. I think it was Mahawi Grant. On, on that last on the last possession down here, it looked like Santee got away with the reach and kind of, you know, when you feel these feel these refs out to see, you know, what they're going to call. So you got to see what the, you can get away with, you know, and 
uh, on that position just now we got a foul so here we go inbound to Mojave down the right side she's going to dribble crosses over right the middle she's at the top taking her time that is Runnels playing defense on her and that is going to be Tuttle who comes from the backside gets the steal a lot of good stealing out here from Asante they're showing us something they're, uh, they're rebounding on the offensive end they're getting steals on the defensive end we got a tie ball game folks three minutes to go seven to seven Asante Warriors fought their way back into it just going back and forth here that oh, is nice three. Frazier with the three on the left wing that's good to go I was just talking about her good defense, and then she hit a three, so. Carnes gets trapped, throws it up. Lovejoy's got it, top of the key. Going to throw it back to Carnes. Winnebago got every girl above the free throw line right now, all spread out. Screen comes from Decora for oh, her nice good backdoor cut there from Lovejoy, <laughs> and the freshman misses her. Big Bear had her and just missed it. Wow, that was a nice pass right down the lane. Kind of even no look a little bit, too. All right, folks, here we are. Tuttle's got the ball, still a tie. Oh, I'm sorry. Asante with the lead right now, 10-7, 225 and ticking. And that's going to be Grant Wabashaw. She drives in, mishandles it, throws it up. Big Bear comes down with the rebound. She's trying to get rid of it. Good steal from Bluebird. She puts a shot up. Another offensive rebound from, from uh, Arshambo. Arshambo. They throw it oh, up. Nice shot. Was that Arshambo? Number 13. Number 13, that was Frazier. She throws it up, gets a two to go. And there's another steal from Frazier. She puts it up, cannot get it to go. Grant comes in from the backside, tips it away. The Warriors came to play up by five, 159 to go, 12 to seven. There's like two or three Lady Indians laying on the ground for, I don't know. Here we go. All right, folks, inbound over here to Grant. She's going to drill with the left side. Doesn't like it. Get rid of it to Carnes. Carnes going to push it all the way to the right side. Crossing the three-point line. She's going to drive it all the way in. Oh, going nice. up and gets fouled. And I believe that one's going to be on Runnels. That might be her first of the game. That was a good take. You know, Lala just got to step on her. Just get around that little corner right there. Once you get around that corner, she's behind you. Took it right to the rack. She almost made it. No, that's going to be on Tuttle on that one. She was the one following her. That's Tuttle's first, first foul of the game. So here comes Carnes. We don't see her a lot at the free throw line, but let's see what she's got for us. First one in and out. So one of Bagel's missed. I want to say around what, almost four free throws now. They've gotten opportunities. They're just not taking advantage of it. Yeah, I think they need to get warmed up just a little bit tonight, huge. Some of these girls are seeing uh, some varsity action for the first time. Don't have your regular squad out there, so you know, just get warmed up a little bit. Second free throw, good to go. Eight to 12, under two minutes here in the first period, and both the Frenchman girls are back in. They're going to sit Grant and Big Bear back down. Here comes Santee throwing it around. That was Grant Wabashaw, who launches a three. Number 11 gets it. Bluebird, she gets it, and there's another. There's two offensive rebounds, this possession alone, and they're going to throw the back door screen over there to Tuttle. Good defense. Tuttle's getting double teamed. Bluebird puts a shot up. Another offensive rebound from, this, from the nice Warriors. Winnebago's got to box out. They want to get it going. That's Runnels who launches one, doesn't, and it goes back iron. Charlie's got it. She's going to launch a long pass up to Lovejoy. Lovejoy is going to go up, spin, Charlie. and they're going to call her for the travel. You know, when you, when you call it up here, I, I see the two Frenchman girls in there, and it's right there. They're, they're standing there together. I love watching those sisters play together. It reminds me of me and my brother playing together back in the day. And uh, you know, it's, a, it's a fun time when you get to play ball with your sibling, you know, the same court, the same team. Yeah, you got to like that. So Tuttle coming down the left side, quick pass out there, and then get it right back and mishandled it. Little give and go action there with Bluebird, and the right idea on that one. Just they got they turned the speed up. Yeah, that that was kind of a good play. I mean, let's, let's see let's see if they do that again at some point in this game because I saw a layup. <laughs> yeah, a better pass or a better catch. Either way you want to look at that one. That was yeah. a layup, no matter what. As uh, Karn sits down, they're going to bring in Harlan. Inbound to Lovejoy, back up top. Swing it around. Harlan's got it on the right side. She's got two words in front of her. Smartly brings it back, takes her time. Up on top. Threw the ball over there to Tiny Frenchman, and she wasn't even looking for it. So Tiny's got the ball now on top. Luckily, Lovejoy was there to recover it. Harlan's got the ball, throwing it around on top. Back over there to Charlize on the left side. She's going to take the screen from Decora. Charlize launches the three off oh, the back up, iron. Cannot get it to go. Rebound from Tuttle, and she gets rid of it over to Grant Wabashaw. Yeah, well, Amishaw is going to take it herself and dribble up the court. Even though Winnebago didn't get a bucket on that one, that was good ball movement. They passed the ball around. Um, I, I hope they pass the ball around like that because they got an open shot and just got to knock it down. 19 seconds and ticking here. Warriors with the ball up on top. We got Grant Wabshaw looking down low. That's going to be Runnels, who's got it. Throws it all the way back up to Frazier. Frazier's got it. Good looking defense. good defense. Five seconds and ticking. Oh, stepped on the line. Stepped out of bounds. Won a bagel ball. That's good defense right there, Miss Frenchman. Making her move, you know, making her work. You know, that's what you got to teach these guys. 
play Usher. hard as he can. Ashambo comes back in the game for Runnels. Winnebago's got the ball, but three quarter court in Warrior territory. Inbound to Tiny. Tiny launches one down to Decora. Ball's tipped. No go. After the first That's period, it. folks, eight to 12. Asante Warriors are here to play. We got ourselves a ball game. Very good first quarter for both teams. I know Santi started off a little bit slow, and uh, but they they stepped it up. They, I saw them. They, they at the end of the quarter there, they they were pressing us full court. Um, maybe got a, one or two turnovers out of that press, but Winnebago uh, also broke the press a couple times. So um, you know that that pressure on the ball. I wish Winnebago would pressure a little bit more on the ball. You know, do the same thing, kind of kind of go go at them on the defensive end too and maybe get some easy buckets off it. Yeah, you're seeing a lot of good um, steals out here from the Warrior, the Lady Warriors and one bag was just got to take better care of the ball. You know, we're putting our head down, we're dribbling, trying to get up the court, but on the opposite end of it, one bag defense has been doing a decent job, you know, but I think the Warriors right now, it's just who's made, who's made more shots because one bag is getting shots that they want on their offensive end. Might not be the exact set shot that he's trying to draw up, but we're still getting some quality looks up, getting themselves in the free throw line. Winnebago makes all their free throws in the first quarter. We have a tie ball game. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Free throws, man. We, we talk about free throws a lot lately because we had a, a lot of close games lately, you know, but in, in a blowout game, free throws, you don't even really remember the free throws. But like right now, like you said, if we made those free throws, it'd be a tie ball game right now. So, you know, maybe... Uh, Maybe the second quarter is going to be a little bit better now. I want to see the, I want to see Winnebago pick up the defense here. Yeah, bring up the pressure. Yeah, pressure, right, pressure, pressure the, the ball. ball. Yeah, Winnebago is now in a man-to-man. -man. Tuttle's got it, throws it over there to Frazier. Frazier's looking, double screens coming around. They're going to get it down low to Grant Wabashaw, who puts it up. Cannot get it to go and rebound good, for good. Winnebago. Big you know, Bear came, I believe that was Tiny that came down with it. That was another thing I was going to say. Is they got a rebound better this quarter, too, so box out like they said earlier. Tiny throws it up top oh, at nice the free move. throw line. She does to Harling. Uh, throw it underneath the Lovejoy, who was uh, under the basket. Put it up. No good. It's going to be look. a shamble. And then who got the rebound? Kick and then up. Lovejoy's got it. Got the steal. She's got it all the way on top. Yeah, she's, got, she's walking into, almost walked into a three there. Tiny's on the move. Gets a hold of the ball. Taking her time. Picks it up. Looks nice, down nice, low. Look. And there's Harlan. Oh, nice. nice. Backside, oh. backside pass over there to Charlize Frenchman, who gets a two to go. That was beautiful. Lady Indians basketball right there. Love the passing. Great Team. passing out there from them. Here we go. Grant Wabshaw's got it, top of the key. Charlize playing really tough. To Grant Wabshaw, nice little crossover down the oh, lane. Yeah. Gets it off the glass to go. Off the dribble. 6.50 and ticking. Asante still up 14 to 10. Charlize going to find look. herself open on the left side. She puts a three up. Doesn't hit anything. Goes out of bounds. They're going... We're going warrior way. That's a good little pull up. I mean, she was open for the shot, you know. Didn't have any, didn't have any rebounders, but hey, I like the confidence in the young lady. Heat check. Heat gotta check, see what yes. you got tonight. Yes. Anybody's ball game right now. Last home game, you gotta you gotta go all out. Anybody's ball game right now. Ooh, ooh. As number as yeah. uh, that was Tuttle trying to get around on top of the thing there, or top of the key there. Apologize, and that was Frazier yeah, came she, by with the moving screen. Yeah, she she didn't get her feet set in time and. Looks like she kind of gave the girl a nudge because of it. So, so that's gonna be Frazier's first foul of this half. Foul count right now, oh, folks, oh, oh. five to one. Oh, turnover there and from Winnebago, the anyway. and that is Frazier fighting around for it. Who's gonna end up traveling, going back Winnebago away? Like I said, who can cut down on the turnovers? Who can rebound? Right, that's a big difference right now in this game. Yeah. And Harlan comes in on the on the drill. Brings it all the way up the court, takes her time, dribbles it back out. Skip pass oh, over there no. to Lovejoy, and that's Grant Wabashaw. Gets the ball on the left side, goes up with Tiny Frenchman coming through on some good chase down defense. Caused the miss, ball knocked out, going one bagel ball. Yeah, I like to see this tonight, tonight especially because the relatives from up north came down, the Santee Warriors come down and play against the Lady Indians, and we also have a native refing right there. You can see him on here, Josh Taylor. He's a accredited referee he does some Winnebago's game so nice to see Josh out here. Inbound pass to Carnes kind of a two one girl fast break she's got Big Bear on the left side she puts oh. it up oh. in and out cannot get it to go <laughs> and that's gonna be Wabashaw who goes down with a rebound. What a pass I'm liking all this I'm liking all this teamwork here tonight from Winnebago the shots will drop watch they'll Tuttle drop they'll drop gets it throws it over there to Grant Wabashaw she goes up cannot get it to go off the back yep, iron yep, going yep, back yep. and forth ball is tipped out of bounds we're gonna stay right here warrior side of the court Looks like a couple of the girls from Winnebago getting a little bit, a little bit tired here. 
550 and ticking 10 to 14 here in the second inbound there from oh. Grant Wabashaw. Throws it out to the top onto Wabashaw, who then throws it back to her, gets a layup on the left side, and I believe they're going to get Big Bear on the foul. Yeah, we're just saying that. It looked like, it looked like the girls are kind of getting tired down there. I think that was a fatigue foul right there. Yep, look at they got a sub coming in for her. Yep, Decora coming back in the game for Big Bear. Sat down for the first part of that second period. 10 to 16 here as Grant Wabashaw is going to go up and go, try to get that old-fashioned three-point play. Shot is up off mm -hmm. the back iron. Decor is going to come down with the rebound, but knocked away by Wabashaw. Again, give the Warriors a lot of credit. They're rebounding. They're yeah. chasing that ball down. Yeah, they're running it down. They're, 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 they're actually playing a little extra defense. That's the kind of defense I wish they wouldn't uh, lay into, into do. Oh, good, nice control. Yeah, Lovejoy gets a hold of it. Can throw it up to Sheridan, who then loses it. Oh, who then it. gets it back. Tries to get it down to Cora. To Cora is trying to grab after it. Warriors end up with the ball here. Ball yeah. still moving around. Frazier ends up with it. And here we go the other way. Turnover. I didn't even know what to say during that sequence right there. The ball was just getting tipped around like it was a volleyball. Everybody's getting after it, but nobody got a hold of it. Frazier with a nice little crossover room top of the key. She Spot lets up. it go over there to Wabashaw. Wabashaw puts it up off the front iron. Cannot get it to go. Tiny French comes out with the rebound, steps through, and is going to get a foul from the Warriors here, and that's going to put the Winnebago at the one and one foul line. I think that's what is that seven? Go ahead, say it. Scream at him. It's one and one. Look, yeah. Oh, oh, there we go. I was trying to get Q to holler around, and one of our refs finally noticed what was going on. Is so I believe we're going to have Tiny Frenchman's your shooter. That last foul was on Grant Wabashaw, and so here we go. Free throws are going to matter now. We've got five minutes left here in the second. The aggressive style that the Warriors are playing. It's a numbers game. You want to cause more turnovers than you do allow them to score, but that can get you in foul trouble as well when you're playing that aggressive. Yep. The First free throw, no good. Being the bonus is a good... No, oh, there's a timeout right there too, I was just going to say, being the bonus is a good uh, time for your team when they're getting tired to take a little break, uh, take a little breather, you know. It might just be a little, you know, 20-second breather, but you're getting a breather. And uh, both teams look like they were starting to... Uh, get gassed out, so uh, the, the Santee team just not called a timeout, so hopefully they'll get some subs Mr. in. Mr. Byron Tuttle, Byron head Tuttle. coach. You know, hopefully uh, Coach Tuttle will get, uh, uh, get his girls a good breather here, get them some water, uh, maybe utilize some subs, and uh, same thing over here on the Winnebago bench, because uh, uh, just put some fresh legs in there so his girls can enjoy, enjoy this game tonight, last home game. So on, on Winnebago's end, to get back in this ball game, to make up for those six points. Again, I think it was at 14 to 10. You know, Winnebago knocks down those other four free throws. You make two right there. Winnebago could be leading this game right now, but the free throws are mattering. The legs are tired. They got them running. But as we're on Winnebago's end, on the offensive side, you've got them. You're in the one and one. You know how aggressive the Warriors are playing. You've got to go through them. You've got to go after it, and you've got to try to get to the hole here because you want to get to the free throw line to shoot more free throws. That's got to be the aggression here to get back in the game. Yeah, you got Decor in the game. I would, I would actually utilize Decor uh, for a couple of screens off the, off the, off the dribble, and then roll to the basket. Frazier just crossing over top of the key. They got Lovejoy on her, playing good about it, a good bit of defense. They're gonna get that over to Bluebird in that corner. They're trying to throw it down low. That's gonna be Wabashaw who puts it up off the back iron. Cannot get it to go. Another offensive rebound from the Warriors. That was Frazier. Grant Wabashaw's got it now. She's looking down, trying to get it down to Wabashaw. Can't see it. Grant Wabashaw driven all the way around. Ends up getting rid of it. Drops it off over there to Archambault, who then back to, I believe that's, uh, I can't say it. I can't find it. Anyway, Frazier. Sorry. Frazier. 13. Yeah, Frazier. Yeah, 13 is Frazier. Grant Wabashaw's got it. Look She's going to drive in. Off the back iron. Up. Gets her own rebound. Throws it back in. Saved by Bluebird. She's got it. Kicks it back to Grant Wabashaw. She's got it on the left side. Throws it underneath. Down over there. Ball as oh, was oh, trying oh. to get it down to Wabashaw. And man, that ball hey, was flying all you know over what? the place. Hey, I'm going to tell you what, bro. You're, I know you're going to get tired tonight because the ball just keeps on going all over the place. The play by play. You're going to have to take a little break on that one. Uh, but I'm yeah, I'm just gonna wait till something happens. I know, then I'll hey, tell you guys hey, what's going on. We'll just say, hey, look at full court press, broken. Yeah. All right, here we Pass. go. Lovejoy's got it on the left side, looking down low, oh, to a wide open. Go. Charlize oh, come on. off the glass and not get it to go. Ends up in the hands of Decora. Hands Ooh. it off to Carnes. Three goes down for Carnes. 13 to 16. 350 and ticking here in the second. Oh man, she was. She kind of stared down the, the the girl that had her hand in her face too. But uh, I hope Lala has that kind of confidence coming in for the rest of the game. We need something to get hot. And that's right. And there we go. 
you got um, Bluebird with it out on the right side, throws it to Archambault. Archambault's looking around. Wabashaw really wants that ball down low. She is posted on the smaller defenders. Ball is being thrown around. Carnes was playing good defense out there in Grand Wabashaw in that right corner. She tried to get it over to Frazier, and she's going to pick up her, I believe, second foul of the game, and they're going to sit her down. You know, it looks like a couple of new subs coming in. We've got Grant and Harlan in the game from Fresh Legs. So Let's ball goes down can... low to oh, Bluebird. Nice. Throws a reverse up. That was Wabasha, I apologize. Throws a reverse up. Could not get it to go. Knocked out of bounds. One big ball. Santi still in the full court pressure. 3.23 and ticking. One big down by three. Inbound to Harlan. Almost dipped away there from Grant Wabasha. Harlan's going to dribble down the right side. She drops it. Bounce pass to Kelsey. To Decora, but caught up. That was with Bluebird and Decora. And the possession arrow is going. Went a big away. We got a jump ball. Jump ball. Went a big one. We sent it up up there at the free throw line. 317 ticking. Went a big one. Still down by oh, three. There's Grant, Grant. Mahawi. Three. Throws up the three. Let's go! And that's good to go. Man, that was her first three varsity points. That was her boy, and she's first coming varsity through. points. Ties the ball game up. 305 to go. 16-16. And that's going to be Tuttle driving it all the way in. No hesitation. Gets herself to the left side of the hoop. Throws it up. Hey, let's get that replay. That's, that was that was great. I, I like it that she scored because, you know, she got some time in the last, you know, maybe four or five games. She got some playing time. And it was usually toward the end of the game. But, hey, it's the second quarter midway. And we get a three-pointer from little Miss Grant there. Good shot. First free throw, no good. Decora picked up her first foul of the game. No, the, the 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 confidence she had in that seeing nobody was on her, nobody's by her. Man, she just walked up that three-point line and snapped that net. Man, you know she wanted that, and she looked like she wanted that from the beginning. Second free throw, Banks in there for Tuttle. That's going to bring them the one-point lead. Three minutes to go. Ball being thrown around on top, but Sheridan with it. We're on the right side now. Throws it up long to Harlan. Wrangles it in. She's in that right corner. She puts it up off the back iron. Offensive rebound to Sheridan. Charlize, who throws it to Sheridan, and Grant Wabashaw picks up, I believe it's going to be her third foul, and that's going to put Sheridan at the free throw line. That's huge for the Warriors to lose, to have her have three fouls this early in the game. Oh yeah, she was, she's was. she been really aggressive. Is she staying, is she staying in the game? They're leaving her in there. Oh, oh and no, there's the sub right there. Yeah, so, so Santee, uh, the Lady Warriors got 18 fouls. And there's two minutes and 46 seconds left of, of free throw shooting for Winnebago. First shot up off the back iron. No good. Good rebound there from Bluebird. Gives it up to Frazier. Frazier's going to come down that left side. She's on the top. taking her time. Sheridan's got defense on her. Goes around her back. Finds herself in the middle of the lane. Throws it up off the back iron. Ends up coming down with the offensive rebound. Lets it go out there to Bluebird on the left and right inside the block there. And she gets that two-pointer to go. Santee extends that lead to three. A nice press break. Here we go again. Grant's got it on the left side, the left side, left wing. Go to the ball. Pivoting the ball. around, doesn't know where to go. Steal, thrown away. And I believe that is, is that a number 12 or yeah. number two? Sorry, that's our Shambo. That was Mahawi. Got that tip. Shambo is running down the court, tipped away, that but was, it's going to stay here. That was good hustle because she just now turned the ball over at one end of the court and she hustled all the way back and got the tip at the under, other end of the court. That's great hustle. So Winnebago in the 2-3, inbound here from Santee. Throwing it over there to Reynolds, who bombs the three to put it up. And that's going to be Tiny Frenchman coming down and also with Shuabasha. That's going to be a jump ball. Possession error going Santee way. Santee way. That's going to be Wabasha taking it out. Inbound over there to Runnels, who bombs the three, does not get it to go. Charlize comes down with the rebound. Looks like Santee's trying to trap. She pushes her way through that, throws oh, nice it up. Pass. Harlan's got the ball. She's going to step up into a three. The ball is up, off the back iron. No good, long rebound. Archambault comes down with it, throwing it up here. The Warriors are taking their time, looking around, did not like what they've seen. They're throwing it to the middle here. That's going to be Wabasha, who went down oh, to a nice cutting Archambault. Steal by Frenchman. There you go. With the Frenchman to the rack. Up. Oh, gets blocked ah, she by Runnels. There. She went down the left side, put it up with the right hand, and got blocked by Runnels. Great defense from her. Winnebago still down by three. 120 a ticking out here. And that's going to be Wabasha, who fires up a three from that left side. Didn't like it. Charlize is getting trapped I'm out. by two Warriors, and Coach Bear is going to burn a timeout with 111 left here in the second period. 16 to 19. You know, I'm glad that we're doing these live streams, uh, Eugene. Uh, it brings it brings like uh, the community right here in the gym, and they can sit at home and watch this, you know. So I want to give a shout out to everybody out there. 
watching our live stream of the game and also uh, listening on the radio on 100.9 uh, FM. So uh, thank you, everybody out there listening and watching the live stream game. Um, like Eugene was saying earlier on our on our little uh, message board there, if you guys can send some either some shout outs or maybe how about a uh, how about this one? Uh, Santee relatives up there that are listening to the game or watching the live stream. Uh, how about uh, throw some names out there for some of the past uh, legends from the Santee area, uh, boys and girls uh, basketball. All right, here we go, folks. 104 and ticking down the right side. Big Bear's got it. Takes the screen from the core. She's going to drive. Finds the free throw line. Gives it up to Tiny Frenchman, who bombs it from the top of the key. Off the iron. Ball tipped oh. around. Santee ends up with it. Runnels has got it. Throws it on up. We're going to end up all the way down the other side with Wabashaw, who makes a move. Throws it to Bluebird. She puts it up. Off the back iron. Tipped around. Rebound by Decora. She's Jeez. pivoting around. Gets... Uh, foul from Wabashaw and Decor is going to find herself at the free throw line. And gets clobbered and she's going to go to the line. And that's nine team fouls, so it'll still be in the one and one right now. I think that's going to be the double bonus now. And I'm seeing Wabashaw number With 10. Four, four fouls. fouls. And we're only in the second quarter, y'all. That's huge. Wabashaw and Grant Wabashaw have been playing big for them. And like I said, that aggressiveness is good to a point. You're going to make steals. You're going to make things happen. But when you play that aggressive, that's when fouls, that's when you can get yourself in foul trouble. Yeah, I mean, aggression is, is a must, but you have to do it with your fundamentals. you got to do it fundamentally to use your aggression. You can't over, go overboard and, and foul because look at she's in trouble now. Decora with the first free throw on the one and one gets it good to go. We're going to we're gonna, we have a two point ball game, folks. 41 seconds, 17 and 19. Decora's got her second shot coming up. Once again, do you think this game's going to go down to the wire with free throws again? It very well could. And like I said, it's got to come down to the who's going to cause less turnover. Second oh, nice free throw is good to go. We got ourselves a one point game, folks. 40 seconds and ticking. Santi coming up. That is Tuttle with the ball. Charlie Star, tiny Frenchman playing defense on it. They're going to kick it out oh, here. Defense. Oh. To number 20. Run has got it, lost it, puts it up off the glass. It's good to go. Inbound from Winnebago, stolen by Bluebird. She's going to go straight down the lane, off the glass. Can't get it to go. Got her offensive rebound, put it back up. Can't get that to go now. Here we go, Winnebago with the ball. Nice, nice press break right there. Ooh, nice. Oh, Charlize had it on that right wing. Tried to throw it down low to Decora, and Santee read it all the way. Yeah, on that on that play just now, she should have just been patient, just dribbled over a little bit patiently and got it down low because... Uh, uh, Decor is working hard down low and trying to get the ball. Just maybe a different entry pass. Might have worked on that one. Things are so straight out. Or five seconds to go here. Inbound pass over to Tuttle. She's on that left side opposite. And ball's tipped around. Staying mm -hmm. here. They got one more chance. 1.8 to go. Ball was on the right side. This, the uh, cutter came from the opposite end. She almost got the layup. Inbound pass over there to Frazier. Cannot get it to go. Here we go, folks. End of the second period. 21 to 18. Asante Warriors holding on to a three-point lead. Good game up until this point right now. Like you said, it's just a one-position game right now. The second half, hopefully the second half will... Uh, uh, both teams go into the locker room and start talking about talking about what uh, needs to be done in uh, Winnebago a lot of the combinations that they had out there I haven't seen those combinations all year long and so it's a good good job that they're rotating people in in uh, uh, the fresh legs on the defense is probably what is, is help, helping Winnebago all right folks we are going to go on a quick sponsor break we will return <laughs> put into the game. Being a student athlete takes commitment. But check that order. Student athlete, commit to the classroom first. Did you know Coach Rinky offers enrichment programs for high school students? The Academic Development Program provides grants to visit colleges and other academic organizations. For more information, visit coachrinky.com. Use your resources, stay in the game.
Ain't this what they've been waiting for? You ready? Uh, uh. I used to break the times like this, the rhyme like this, so I had to grind like that, to shine like this. In a matter of time, I spent on some locked up in the back of the paddy wagon, cuffs locked on wrist. See my dreams unfold, nightmares come true. It was time to marry the game, and I said, yeah, I do. Hey, the rest in peace, rest in peace to the parking lot. Phantom so big, can't even fit in the parking spot. You ain't talking about my then what you talking about? Get you to move in silence, and I don't talk a lot. I don't say a word. Welcome back, folks, to Winnebago, Nebraska. The Winnebago Lady Indians are hosting the Asante Warriors from Santee, Nebraska. Quick station identification, KWTN 100.9, Allen, Nebraska, Big Voice Radio. We have our sponsors we'd like to thank, Iron Horse Bar and Casino, Ho Chunk Incorporated, Big Time Cleaning LLC, TB Customs, Avery Brothers Sign Company, and Native Star Casino. Well, Quince, we uh, want to thank all of our viewership out there. I know we got a couple comments from Phoenix, Arizona, and I know we got a few up there. Even Mr. LaPlante threw a couple comments to us on the live stream talking about he used to ball up these bagel boys back in his day. Oh, really? What's his name again? The Whalen. <laughs> oh, Whalen. Oh, Whalen. Hey, uh, uh, shout out to Whalen, and also uh, my uh, condolences go out to Whalen and his family. Uh, he, uh, Lost a relative recently, and um, pray for all the mourners up there in the Santee Way. I was gonna say we uh, to. I was talking to Eugene earlier about you know some of these past games or past players from uh, Santee that we can we can remember and uh, a couple guys kind of couple guys that I played against and also I got to see play from Santee. You know, a couple of local legends from up there just mentioned their name. You know, shout out to Bobby Whipple. Bobby Whipple, my freshman year back in like like '86 or '85, um, he got a he got a pass right down the middle of the lane and dunked it on Winnebago. And uh, it was the first time I actually saw uh, a dunk in a high school game. And uh, that was my freshman year. As you can tell, uh, coach didn't have me in the game. I was probably wouldn't have got that done. But I also, and also shout out to a young man by the name of Mark Henry up there. Mark Henry, I think he started varsity as a freshman up there and, and just worked his way up and uh, got a couple wins for Santee School against against our Winnebago Indians here. So shout out to you, Mark. And then a young lady by the name of Hannah Sheridan. She's a half Santee, half Omaha. She uh, recently just third leading scorer in Knox County history. She knocked down about uh, over 1,400 points up there. And so she went to go play ball at a Dakota Weston up there. So shout out to that young lady for taking it to the next level. And Waylon said that Bob's daughter is playing tonight. That's Layla Johnson. So we got a little bit of a clarification. You guys can throw me some thumbs up if I'm right about this. But I've been calling number 20 Runnels. That's actually Layla Johnson from from our from our sources out there. Uh -huh. So I apologize to Miss Johnson, but like I said, that said that's uh, Bob's daughter right there. Thanks, Waylon, again. In the second half should be a pretty good one, Eugene. Both the girls kind of got out here early, and they're up just putting up shots right now. Uh, both of them look like they're hitting some threes as they're warming up. So hopefully that that's kind of the story that we're going to see is some some of these girls knock down some shots tonight. You know, I think the story for uh, the Warriors right now is having Wabasha and Grand Wabasha in foul trouble. Both of them sitting on three fouls, walking into the second half here, and that aggressiveness might go away a little bit on the offensive rebound side. Because I'm telling you right now, I think that uh, the Warriors are out rebounding us just on the offensive end alone. I know they've got at least it's got to be close to 15 offensive rebounds right now. I agree. I was I was noticing that too that uh, the Winnebago weren't they weren't boxing out 
too much in that first half here. It was kind of toward the, the end of the second quarter, though. I noticed that uh, uh, Decora and also uh, uh, Tresta, they were they were playing pretty physical down there, and they actually kind of ripped away some rebounds. So so maybe that uh, Coach Coach Bear talked to him about being more aggressive on the board. So we'll see. Yeah, shout out to Tiny Frenchman also in the first half. Got a, been playing really well. Being one of the guards, but man, she's been pulling herself some down some rebounds as well. She's been a big rebounder for Winnebago. Yeah, you know, I, I like how, how Tiny's stepping up to uh, take over part of that leadership role. Um, some of the girls that, uh, that are usually out there the upperclassmen, you know, they're they're supposed to be the the leaders to try to uh, lead and kind of guide these younger ones along the ways. And and uh, some of those girls are gone, so you know you need somebody to step up and be a leader. So I really like it about Tiny to step up and be one of those people to uh, help encourage these young ones to let's let's win this game. Yeah, I think with Winnebago, you're finding, like, Decor, I think, has five right now. That needs to come up. But, again, we were talking about, you know, you hear about the, us saying, oh, the entry pass, you know, the entry pass. They've just got to look for their bigs, whether it's Flying Hawk, Decora, Big Bear. They've got to make choices on those entry passes. When they do see them and they are in position, that's going to create opportunities for your big girls down low because Winnebago, we're all about, they're all about the same height right now, but I think Winnebago might have the advantage down low. But on the offensive end, because again, when Santee puts shots up, man, them girls are flying after the ball right yeah, now. Yeah, you're right. They're they're crashing the boards, and even if on those long rebounds, they're uh, they're out there hustling to try to get that ball. You know, that's one thing that that uh, no matter no matter what age group you're talking about with basketball, you know, you always want to try to out hustle the other team. You know, and so maybe maybe that's one of the things that. Uh, we should in Winnebago. We should put the a, a sign up in each of the locker rooms and just tell them, put a big sign up that says, "Out hustle the other team" or "Don't let the other <laughs> team out hustle you." You know, because that's true in sports, man. Especially, you know, how much I love basketball. That's one of the things that we always talk about: is you have to out hustle the other team. Walking into the second quarter here in Winnebago, Nebraska, the Santee Warriors are up 21 to 18 over Winnebago. Again, the two girls that we know that are in foul trouble are Wabasha and Grant Wabasha. All right, got it. Layla Johnson, not Runnels, on number 20. I apologize, folks. And uh, you know what? Johnson's having herself a game as well. There's, uh, Santee's going to have Wabasha out on the court. Grant Wabasha, Bluebird. Let's see who else is out there for these girls. Frazier and Arshambo starting the second half here. Winnebago's got Carnes, Lovejoy, Decora, Tiny Frenchman, and Big Bear out on the court for them. All right, so, be, you know, they're inbounds and a ball, so just remember, number 10 for the, for the Santee Lady Warriors got four fouls right now. All right, here you go. Carnes has got it looking to get to Decora. She has to come all the way top of the key to get it. Frenchman's got it, top of the key, looking around. Winnebago's got four girls all above the three point, or free throw line. Carnes is going to take that screen and then pull up from that left wing spot, not getting to go. Rebound out there from Frazier, throws it up there to Grant Wabasha, who puts it up on the left side, left hand, gets it to go. Inbound here to Lovejoy, heading out the other way. She's looking up court, finds Big Bear. Big Bear sits, sits it down, and lets it go to Tiny Frenchman, who bombs a three, cannot get it to go. Long rebound, hustled down by Lovejoy, out of bounds. It's gonna go Warrior way. Yeah, nice hustle. And Santis, they're still in that, that man to man. It, it looks like they, take out, they took off the full court press, but oh no. Yeah, they, took, they took out the full court press, but they're playing man to man and they're playing pretty tight right now. So two long threes to start the half for one bagel. And that's gonna be Frazier pushing the ball up the court. Nice skip pass from yep. that was uh Wabshaw over to Frazier and Frazier gets it to go. Here comes Carnes pushing the right side. She's gonna drive in. Blocked by uh Wabasha. Turned around. Here we go the other way. Frazier looking up court. Finds our shamble. Good steal. Stolen by Tiny Frenchman pushing up the right side. She's gonna try to go through. Almost oh, got it rack. ripped away. And cannot get it to drop down when a bagel just cannot get the lid off the basket. They had a couple good opportunities, Eugene, but you know, the ball, you know, like you said, the lid on the basket, the ball isn't always going. Okay, that's a good deal. Frazier had the ball, mishandled it just a little bit. Tiny Frenchman comes over, pokes away at it, knocked away from Santee, and it's going to be one bagel ball. Santee pressuring full court still. 
Ball moving in. Lovejoy throwing it up that left side. Here comes Big Bear. She's got it. She's going to drive. She puts it up on the left side. Big block over there from Wabashaw. Not scared with those four fouls. No, she read that one. She handed it right to her. Like, hey, block me. <laughs> Big Bear's going to figure those ones out. She's only a freshman. Oh, oh man. With four fouls, though, that was kind of that was pretty darn brave of her to go up. Inbound to Tiny, throws it out to the right side over there, Lovejoy. She gets it down to Big Bear. Big Bear yeah, is trying to go up, and that's going to be a foul on Bluebird. First one here in the second half. 8.26, or sorry, 6.26 left here in the third period. 25-18. Winnebago looking to cut you into know, that lead. You know, I'm looking out here on the, at the, on the court, and I see that Santi only has two uh, two reserve players over on the bench. If, if Winnebago, and then a couple girls are in foul trouble already. If they just attack, keep on attacking the basket and get these girls in foul trouble, then you know Winnebago might be able to get to the line a little bit quicker. Tiny finds herself is. open, Look. top of the key, oh. three up and in, did not get it to go. Rebound from Decora gets knocked away. Big Bear ends up with it. She's still dribbling, gets her over to Carnes on the right wing, and she's out the wing. She dribbles through two defenders and ball in and out, but it's going to be on the ground. Let's see who the foul is on, and I believe that is number 13. Brazier picking up her second. Second foul here for the Warriors in this half. Inbound, long pass up top to Lovejoy. Lovejoy puts her foot in the ground, goes to the hoop, throws down to Core. Nice, Core nice goes look. around her. Oh, yeah. And one. There you that go. That foul is going to be on Grant Wabashaw. That's going to be her fourth foul. Hey, Brian, I know, I know you like when you hear that one. Decora and one. Got to love it. Her senior night. Last game here in this gym. A lot of emotions running. And you got to leave everything on the court. Here we go. Decora with her free throw. Going up, ball is up, and it is in and oh, out. we got to make free throws. we got to get them free throws to go. Winnebago would have the lead right now if we made free throws. 540 and ticking here in the third. Winnebago down by five, 20 to 25, and that's going to be Grant Wabashaw oh. who puts her foot in the ground, goes through, but we're going to get a moving okay. screen. I couldn't see who it was on that one. We'll see it might have been on Frazier. Let's see who the foul is. Yeah, it's from Frazier. That's, that's going to be her three. third. Two quick ones for here, here early in the third. You know, that's Frazier's their ball handler. She's she's the quick girl I was talking about that that also hit that three besides her good defense. So that might be huge right there, three fouls. Charlize goes forward, puts her foot in the ground, oh. gets a hold of it, throws the pass stolen by Grant Wabashaw right there. Oh. She crosses over, loses the ball. is gonna end up with it. She's pushing it down. She's looking down low, throws that pass and couldn't really get it to anybody and it hits the bleachers. If you guys watch any of our streams earlier in the season, we do not like that pass from the okay. from like half court trying to get it to the block. The one-hander. That's tough. Those are tough. Inbound over here to Tiny Frenchman. She tries to hand it off to sister Charlize, and that was Frazier who knocked her away, but it's going to go Winnebago away still. Looking to inbound. Santi throwing a lot of pressure out. Charlize gets it. She throws it, and that's going to – Frazier is going to pick up her fourth oh. foul. Charlize had it, trying to get rid of it, and she's going to get bumped right here. That's Archambault right there as well. Puts her hand in there, throws her hands up, but she's going to get called for the wow. foul. That is her fourth foul. Frazier sits down, and that's going to be Miss Layla Johnson coming back in the game. So here we go, 524 left in the third. Inbound a tiny Frenchman. She takes her time, dribbling on the left side, crosses over, looking back in the middle, picks up her dribble, finds Big Bear. Throw. Opposite on the other end. Big Bear's going to drive it all the way Look. in, puts oh. it up. And that's going to be Miss Layla Johnson's foul. And that's going to, Big Bear's going to find herself at the free throw line. Yeah, look at right now, the foul situation for the team fouls is Winnebago has zero. And Santee's got six team fouls already. And we're only really like three minutes into the third quarter right now. Getting ref, we would be saying right now, right? Oh, yeah. And these refs right here, these refs, these are the, probably the best refs we've got all First year. First free throw, not good. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. How many can you miss right now? Oh, as you can hear, the Santee cheerleaders getting into it right now. Big Bear, second shot up oh, off the back not iron. Good. Not yeah. good. Brought down by Bluebird. Bluebird's going to head down the court here. Yeah, no, it's, it's good to go to the line. You know, it's good to go to the line, but you got to at least get a couple out, out of it. Out of a couple sequences there. So Grant Wabashaw's got it. She's going to dribble around. She's going to be up by Tiny. She pulls up. Cannot get it to go. Offense rebound. Tipped around. Uh, Big Bear's going to end up with it. She slows it down. Takes her time. Tiny Frenchman on the left side. She doesn't like floater. it. A little floater. Cannot get it to go. Bluebird with the rebound in front of her. Three oh, end it. Jump ahead of her. Man. And we're going to end up here in Santee side on 
down here on the right side. Grant Wabashaw's got it on the right wing. Throws it down to the right corner. Throws it right back to Grant Wabashaw. And there's that play we talked about, that little give and go we yeah. see. That might be their bread and butter right now. Yeah, nice rebound by Decora. I think that she probably picked up her fourth or fifth rebound just now. Grant Wabashaw foul, running man. down the sideline with Tiny Frenchman. That's possibly her fifth foul right now. If it's on her, and it is, that's going to be the oh. end of the night for Wishana Grant Wabasha. She played a heck of a game. Shout out to her. Yeah. And that's, he's looking around like, that's five fouls? She didn't even believe it. One of Bagels already in the one and one here. 427 left in the third period. Santee still holding on to a five point lead. You know, that's this is just like going to be like a game of chess right here, especially not being able to knock down free throws. Free throw, good to go. The go. First one. Or they just knock down the free throws. So nice on the court, shot. on the court right now for the Warriors, you got, I believe it's uh, number ten Wabashaw with four fouls. Frazier's on the bench with four fouls, and Grant Wabashaw just fouled out of the game. So the girls that came down from Santee have got to step up and play the rest of this game all the way here. Tipped around, Marshambo lets it go over to Frazier. Frazier, I'm sorry, no, it's not Frazier. That's um, Johnson. Puts it up, no good. Sheridan's got it, throws it up the court to Charlize. She's going to drive down the right there, side. Look. She puts it up. Oh! And run as she gets oh, knocked to the ground. I, hey, I saw in her eyes. She wanted that. She wanted that. She, she saw she had the girl on her hip. She put it on her hip. Boom. Took it all the way to the rack. Kissed it off the glass. Great job out there from Charlize. Realizing that, you know, these girls are playing aggressive. And that's going to be... I believe that's Wendy Archambault's first foul of this half. Cannot get the three-point play to drop. Ball is moved around and tipped, and it ends up in uh, Sheridan's hands. Oh, who throws it up there to Tiny man. French, but he lost hey, it. Tiny was trying to pull up for that three before she had the ball. That's what happened right there. She was wide up, and she saw it, and she's like, ah. 3.58 left here in the third. Coach Bear calls a timeout. I believe that uh, Mr. Byron Tuttle's over there wondering, why wasn't that an over and back cue? Can you explain why? I, I think it was an uncontrolled tip. It wasn't actually controlled tip. If the ball is getting deflected, it's a loose ball. You know, even if we touched it, it wasn't controlled. So that's why. I, that's why I think. But I mean, yeah, because I didn't even bother to question it when you watch the play happen in live action. Yeah. yeah. Well, check it out. Huge. Like, like this is like the first time in the history of Winnebago basketball that the scoreboard looks the way it does. Eight team fouls to zero team fouls, and we have zero. This Winnebago crowd is getting wild right now here on senior night. Trying to cheer them on, get them back into it. 3.58 left here in the third period. 23-25, Santee Warriors are still leading. And Winnebago cannot just get the ball in the basket to take over this lead. So a lot of credit to these Warrior ladies. They are here to play. Yep, yep. Hey, uh, shout out to uh, Dion and uh, the, the Warrior Lodge up there. I know you guys are watching the game right now. Uh, your girls are up by two points. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a battle down here. It's, it's a, a barn burner down, burn down here. here. Yeah, yeah, this gym's live right now. And the Warrior Lodge is kind of like how we have the Boys and Girls Club down here. They have a lot of programs and stuff like that. And what were you feeding tonight? Here. What are they eating over there? They're having a pizza party tonight. Dang. Yeah. Send some of that down here, man. Yeah. Pizza party, gotta love it. Yeah. Inbound pass stolen what by Charlize Frenchman. What a big one, a full court press right now. What's up? And here we that go. Was unexpected. Yeah. What a big one with the ball. And moving the ball, swinging to the left side. That's Sheridan. She's gonna drive in. Looks on the backside for Charlize. Tipped away. Good defense down there from Archambo. Yeah, the Santee girls are gonna have to play really, really smart and really careful. Tipped away by Harlan. Archambo ends up with it. Kicks it all the way to that right corner. Throws it back down low. Ooh. Looking for the cutter. Cannot get it to drop yep. where they needed to go. Turnover. She, she was wide open too. That was a that was actually a good look, but it was just not a real good pass, you know. So inbound over here to Sheridan. Sheridan throws a long pass up front to Harlan. Mishandles it. And that's um Wabasha who's got it. Throws it on up. Wabasha ends up back with it. She's in that right corner looking around. Back up top. Archambo skipping it around. Throwing it back. Tuttle's got it. She drives down the middle of the lane. Off the glass. And that's going to be Sheridan's foul. And you're going to have Tuttle at the free throw line. All right. First foul on Winnebago here. The ball's one to eight now. I like to... Uh, I like the, the defense on Winnebago right now. They're, like I was saying about playing smart defense, you know, they're putting their hands up. They're, they're not really slapping at the ball, you know. They're, they're just playing all out honest defense. Yeah, good move there from Tuttle. Um, she started the game out really well, handling the ball for, the, being the majority ball handler for them. So I think for uh, Santita, 
stay, stay ahead in this game, find themselves at the free throw line, be aggressive with the ball. Another uh, rebound out there. Carnes comes down with our shambo. Almost came down with another rebound. Carnes drove all the way down here on the left side. Goes there it up to Charlize. Charlize lets one fly off. Cannot get it to go. And that's going to be Bluebird that comes down with the rebound. Carnes fighting around for it over here. The defense. Oh, oh. Throwing that ball around. Nice, great, great. great job there from the... From the I uh, like Santi that Warriors. Right there. I like that fast That was break. Wabasha. Looked down, found Bluebird underneath. She got that two to go. That's you're gonna have a four-point game now. Two thirty-six to go. Twenty-three, twenty-seven. Looked like Lala Carnes was trying to draw the foul on there, uh, and ref didn't didn't see a foul, so it went a bigger ball underneath the basket. Let's see what kind of play they run. Fine Hawk's gonna sit down. They're gonna be the court in the game, oh, threw and that feet. threw that pass right at her feet. And then Sheridan, who threw me the turnover, nice hustle. hustled back after it. She's gonna throw it over here to Carnes. Mishandles it, regains it. Everybody's settling down here for Winnebago. Everybody, the girls moving around. Pass, cut, screen coming. Charlize takes uh -huh. her, gets it stolen by Wendy Archambault. She's, She's gonna jump on the right side, and Char. Uh, Charlize ends up getting the foul. Great job. And what did I just say? Our shambles got to start playing big for these girls, and she's showing out just now. Yeah, on a defensive end, I mean, in a game like this, the game close like this, especially like right now, both teams are playing full court defense. I mean, you got to hustle, you know, you got to hustle. So nice hustle by uh, number two there, right? Our shambles. Free throw, not good to go. It's a game of free throws right now, folks. It sure All is. you kids watching over there at the lodge, work on them free throws. Because when you get to the free throw line, you can change the game just by making some free throws. Second free throw up, no good. And that ended up being yeah, you saw. Miss Tuttle. A little bit of a push in the back there. Karn's doing a great job of boxing out. And that's going to be Tuttle's foul on that one. We're going to want a bagel ball down by four here. 2 12 left in the third period. 27 23. I'm going to piggyback how he was talking about, about free throws. Yeah, free throws is definitely the big, one of the biggest parts of the game, man. Sheridan's oh, nice got it. She throws the pass over to Decora. Great job there from Sheridan because you had a wobble shot down there and she was not going to foul anybody in that point. Yeah, you know, talk about free throws and we're going to the line again, you know. My, pop, my pops always tell us back in the day, just like your pops tell you guys, you know, like like free throws is the easiest shot. That wow. was Frazier's fifth wow. foul, folks. Wow. Frazier got that foul. That's going to sit her down. And let's see, the two girls with five fouls. And I see Santee's going to have to finish this game with four because yeah, who's one. the other girl on the bench? Did she get hurt? Is that why she's sitting over there? The no, court with I her think, first free she's, throw. She's probably going to be going in here in a second. Misses the first free throw. Big Bear comes in the game. Carnes and goes and sits down. I believe that is, I'm trying to find out who that is sitting over there. Is that Tuttle? Is Tuttle over there? Number four? Yeah, I think that's Tuttle on the bench. Wow. Dude, all three girls fouled out. Second free throw, good to go for Decora. We got ourselves a three-point ball game, folks. She's not going in, so it is for her. 203 to go here in the third. Your Santee Warriors are out here playing with four girls against Winnebago, and they ain't quitting. Ball is being tipped around. Decora ends up with it. Lovejoy's got it. Here we go, folks. Ball being thrown up to Big Bear. Big Bear is going to come down, drops the dime over to... Oh, it's got blocked. Sheridan, it got blocked. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, uh, especially you uh, Santee fans out there watching on the live stream. Time out, Coach Tuttle. Listening on the radio. Uh, your girls are doing a heck of a job down here in this game. right? Here. Like Eugene was saying earlier, they have four players right now playing against uh, this full squad of uh, Lady Indians down here. It's still early. A minute 44 left in the third quarter. So we still have the entire fourth quarter to go. And your Asante Lady Warriors are still holding on to a three-point lead. You got to commend them. I can see Santee right now maybe playing a little bit more slow style on offense. Maybe kill a lot more clock than trying to rush and shoot right away and get as many shots in as you can. But we'll see what Coach Tuttle's got drawn up. I don't think he came into this game planning a, a four against five offense and defense. No, no, I don't think he planned that at all either. It was the aggressive defense that they were doing the first half. They got him. Tipped away. Santee comes up with the steal. Here we go. Archambo down the right side. She's going to drive against Decor. It gets boxed out to the back side. Movement out here up top. That's going to be Johnson with the ball. Gets it over to Grant Wabashaw. Throws it back down to Archambo. She drops a pass down to Bluebird. Wow. Goes up, gets the end one, extends the lead back to five. Wow, and going to the line here. It could be six. That was just a hey, that was a pretty aggressive play down low right there. Look at it. She gets the ball here. 
Caesar Frank coming across, gets a little bitty drop pass right there, and then goes right up. Foul there by Harlan. That's going to be her first of the game. Bluebird finding herself looking for that old fashioned three point play. Ball is up off the back island. Harlan chases down the rebound, throws it nice up pass. long over to Lovejoy. Lovejoy goes to Decora. Decora goes up and mishandles it. Good defense hustle down there from Johnson. All right, folks, 122 left here in the third. And she was, the, the ref was going to hand it to her. And she's standing way back there against the wall. He told her she had to come move forward before she threw it in. So inbound pass over oh, there. We'll and Wendy Archambault finds herself down the left side. She puts up the left hand layup. Could not get it to go. Harlan's got it. She's pushing. That's Johnson down there. Harlan goes up against her. Oh, nice off shot. the glass. Gets it to go. Almost drew the foul on that one. Three point play here. 26 29. Ball being tipped around. And Santee's going the way. That looked like a back and forth, over and back right there. Yeah, it was not controlled. Turn over there from Santee. You got moving it around. Harlan's Harlan got a three. three point line. She puts it off the back iron. Rebound there from Grant Wabashaw. Big Bear fights her way through it. She goes up, folks. That's going to be Grant know. Wabashaw's fifth foul. And now your Senti Warriors are going to walk into this game and they're going to have to finish the game out with three. And they're going to bring back in. She, I knew she didn't have four fouls. There's no way yeah. Tuttle had four fouls. They, they can, they can. if the coach decides on just playing with four, they can do that to save somebody else, you know, and I'm glad that he did that because they would be playing with three right now. Big Bear at the line looking to tie this game up. 45 seconds to go. Shot goes down and she's going to get another shot. No basket, no basket. Violation on 12. Wasn't she the shooter? How could she have violated it when she made it? She probably stepped over the line before. Okay, folks, here you go, and we're going to get a timeout. Coach Tuttle. Wow, check this out, Eugene. This is a crazy game right now. 45 and a half seconds left in third quarter. Okay, third quarter, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, Santee has... They're playing with four players right now. We have three of the three of the girls in the Santee squad has fouled out. And uh, the, the team fouls is 10 to 3 right now um, in the third quarter. And uh, Winnebago is still down by one. What a game, dude. Holy cats. You couldn't even imagine. Like I said, with Coach Tuttle walking in here, could you imagine him saying, all right, how am I going to do this? I've got three girls yeah. in foul trouble. He opts to leave. Um, Tuttle on the bench, only play with four there late in the third quarter. And then Grant Wabashaw, knowing she's got four fouls, picks up her fifth. And then we sub back in Tuttle, so he hell, he still has four. Yeah. So heads up play from him on that one. Heads yeah. up play. Yep. Now let's see what they can do and, and see if they can hold on to this lead uh, in this third quarter. Got 45 seconds. 45 seconds. Four Warriors coming out. Inbound passes into Archambault. She's going to dribble it down the right side. Lovejoy's playing defense on her. Crosses over. Almost loses it. Gets back control. Top of the key. 37 seconds and ticking here. She's looking. Throws it back to the other side. Sheridan strips it away from Archambault. Heading the other way. Sheridan's going to find herself. Throws it over to Lovejoy. Lovejoy's going to pull from that right wing. Off the back iron. Sheridan comes down with the rebound. Throws it up top to Harlan. Travel. She's going to go for the drive and gets called for the travel. She had the lane too. It was right there. It's just that, that little that little head fake and she took like two or three steps before she put the ball on the ground. It was a good move, a good idea. Warriors inbounding the ball. Winnebago with a full court press. Inbound to Archambault. She's coming down the right side. And Harlan's gonna pick up the bounce foul. Now you're gonna lie. I think you're gonna see a lot of makeup calls out here from the refs on this end right now. Them only having four girls. Yeah, they might give them a little little bit of advantage, but they've been uh, calling good calls for the most part. So when's the last time you watched a basketball game with four kids playing, whether it's guys, girls, oh, man. little kids? It's been a while. It's been a while. I remember uh, watching a team finish with two players. I mean, they lost. But. Wendy Archambault. Started, I'm sorry, that was Tuttle driving through. Does a spin move. Goes up. She's going to find herself at the free throw line here, folks, with 11 seconds left here in the third period. Looking to extend the Asante Warriors lead. 28-29. I believe she's going to get two shots on this one. She could push this lead back up to three. Winnebago hasn't led this game early in the first, I think it was, but it's been all Santee the rest of the way here. First free throw, no good from Tuttle. 
She's looking to extend this lead again. 11 seconds here in the third period, 28-29. Second free throw up, no good. Rebound hey. from Bluebird. Bluebird puts a shot up. Ball moved around, she tips it back in. Flying Hawk ends up with it. She throws it back to Bluebird. She puts shoot another it, shot it. up, cannot get it to go. And end of the third period. Woo-wee. Santee, one point lead, 29-28. Real quick, folks, gotta give you the station identification. KWTN 100.9, Allen, Nebraska, Big Voice Radio. Shout out to our sponsors, Iron Horse Bar and Casino, Bull Chuck Incorporated, Big Time Cleaning LLC, TB Customs, Avery Brothers Sign Company, and Native Star Casino. Shout out. Winnebago Trillers out here in between the third and fourth quarter. They always try to get the crowd hype. Uh, the game kind of started off with not too many fans out here, but as you can hear, the gym started getting packed here on the last night, senior night. Yep, this gym is rocking, folks. A lot of Winnebago fans came out. Last home game for these Winnebago Indians, boys and girls tonight. We are looking excited for some boys action after this one. But right now, we've got a one-point ball game, folks. Winnebago versus Santee Lady Indians, the Lady Warriors basketball. Yeah. Fourth, fourth quarter is going to be so, so interesting here. A huge early, early uh, player of the games. Right now... Um, for Winnebago, I like Big Bear. She's been doing well, firing herself at the free throw line. But I also like Decora. She's playing very big. I like to give her the player of the game on senior night. That's just me, though. Yeah. But well, for the Warriors out here, you know, I think that um, our shamble has been playing really well. Johnson's been doing a lot of good things. The girls left in the game. Bluebird's playing a big game for them as well. So you can kind of hand pick at this point for yeah. either side. Yeah, the girls, that, the, the couple of the girls that are sitting over there that fouled out, they did really good while yep. they were in there, you know, so. Grant picks up her second foul of the game. Inbound pass over there. Pass is thrown around. Grant almost gets the steal. That's going to be Tuttle oh, with the turnover. Carnes has got it. Santee is still playing hard, even with four girls. Long pass up here to oh. Tiny Frenchman who loses it. Turnover. Santee still getting the ball back, folks. 28-29. Santee with the lead. 741 left here in the fourth. Yeah, look at so Winnebago is playing full court defense, but Santee is just getting the ball up court really easy. Ball's thrown up. Tiny Frenchman ends up with the long pass up to Carnes. Too much. Another turnover from Winnebago, and they just cannot get the lid of the basket. They can't get the lead you, right you now. Know, you know what? I think it is. I think it's this pressure of them having only four players that's getting Winnebago kind of confused. It's that they're thinking that they should be able to get in there and blow them out, but. You still got to have the effort. You got to play smart basketball. Do what, three turnovers or two turnovers? Yeah, in a row right there, yeah. So, you know, just got to realize, you know, take a step back, realize what the situation is. You know what they should do? They should take one of the quick, the quicker girls from Winnebago, one of the quicker girls, and just uh, double team the ball. Yeah. Wherever it goes, double team the ball. Yeah, no matter what, just double team the ball. Because like I said, they're putting the full court pressure on them. But like I said, man, all the credit in the world right now to these uh, Warrior ladies, the lady, lady Warriors right now, because they're playing their hearts out right now. And you know you know what? 727 left here in the fourth. They still got a one point lead. Yeah, as long as they can continue on uh, uh, playing good defense on the Lady Indians and not let them score. I mean, it's a one point lead, can last all quarter long. But here we go, Winnebago. We're going to take the lead right now. All right, full court pressure still being put on. Lady Warrior still running with four. Inbound pass over here to Tuttle. Tuttle's going to dribble all the way down the right side. Grant tries to get in front of her. Crosses over, goes middle. Maybe. That's Archibald. Finds herself open. Three goes up. Cannot get it to go. And we're going to get a push on 20. 20. That is Miss Layla Johnson. Oh, no. No, that was off. That was on the other end. I believe that was on Tiny Frenchman. Yeah, that was on Tiny Frenchman. Oh, 12. Who's 12? We don't have a number 12. That was on, I believe that oh, was on Tiny. Yeah, yeah, Tiny. That was her first. And that's going to put Santee in the one and one. Santee's got a shot to Let's, extend the lead on yeah. a one and one free throw shooting. Let's go. Santee, Lady Warrior fans out there, just cheer your girls on. I want to hear that lodge. Tell them spirit fingers up right now, man. Yeah. Holy cats. What a game. Going for a one and one here. Now she needs to knock it down. Winnebago's just got to find their options right now. They got to find where it works wow. first. Free throw, good to go. Two point ball game, folks. Santee with the lead. Still running with four girls rest of the way here. Playing a good game from these ladies. Coach Tuttle doing a good job, kind of lining his things up. Second free throw, not good. Rebound wrangled in by Winnebago. 
Throwing it up to Grant. Grant's got it. Middle of the court. Looking it around. She finds herself top of the key. Throws over to Charlize, who bombs up a three off the back iron. Cannot get it to go. Tipped out by Decor. It's going to go Santee way. That's what you're talking about on that end. There's no reason to be throwing up a three, one possession, one, you know, you only get one shot. Yeah, and one look, shot Santee's and got the ball. Here they go. And they're taking for the basketball team. Yeah, they are. Our has got it. Got Decor on her. Does a little sidestep and layup. Gets the two goal. Didn't, yeah, didn't step up to put a hand up in the face, but I mean, hey, a flying layup, you know, that could either go in or out, but hey, good shot. We got a four point ball game. That is Tuttle playing good defense up on top as Carnes just tries to dribble through her, and Carnes is going to find herself at the free throw line with a chance to pull this within two. 6.43 to go. That's going to be Tuttle's third foul. That could matter if they keep playing this aggressive style of defense. Winnebago's down, 28-32 right now. 6.43 left here in the fourth. Free three, the free throw, no oh, good. Man. These free throws are huge tonight, guys. We're we're down by four points, and I think that might have been like the 10th or 11th or 12th free throw that we missed. Winnebago might have a 20-piece and missed free throws tonight. Oh, Second one good to go here. 29-32. Oh, Grant, Grant stepping through, gets the foul, tipped around, going to go stay Santee Ball. And Winnebago staying at full court pressure. They're having Decor stay back. I mean, nobody on the ball, so there's... Inbound pass stolen by Carnes. Dips it around. Good. She they're finds great. a tiny French over in that right okay. corner. She tees it up and lets it fly off the back iron. And looks like Grant's going to run down the offensive rebound. Throws it back up top turns. Carnes is going to let one fly. There that go. three is good to go. We got a tie ball game, folks. 6.23 to go here in the fourth. 32-32. Bluebird dribbling up the right side. Decora's on her. Takes her time. Double team right there. Throws it down to oh, nice Archambo. Archambo puts it up. And I believe Tiny Frenchman's going to pick up her second foul as Wendy Archambo smartly gets back to the free throw line. Yeah, she took it right to the hole. And you know, I think she saw the watch. Yeah, she saw her reaching in. So she put her hands up in the air, drew the foul. You know, down here on this, on this other end over here, Winnebago's getting good looks at the shot or the basket. First free throw for her, not good. They're, making, they're, they're getting good looks at the shot over here because there's one extra girl, and that extra girl, as long as she's ready to shoot, shoot the ball. Second free throw up and good. The Warriors take a one-point lead here, 32-33, six minutes and ticking here in the fourth. Bumped by Tuttle, and that's going to put Charlize Frenchman at the free throw line for two more free throws. Yeah, Charlie's kind of put that little move on her little Iverson move right around, quickly around the back, and the girl reached in and drew it. All right, folks, Charlie's Frenchman taking her free throw shots. First one's good to go. Is this maybe her first or second time shooting free throws today, right? Yeah. I haven't seen her at the line all day. Yeah. That first one's good, though. Ties the ball game up 33-33. Oh, man. All, all week, the last two weeks, been talking about Lady, Ind Lady Indians with the lead changes. Here we go. Oh, no basket. Look, she, she went over the line. Second free throw went in. We get a line violation from the shooter. Tie ball game, folks. 33-33, 6.06 left. Bro, that's two That's two points that we missed out on because of the, the violation. Long pass thrown. Decora ends up with it. Throws it forward up to Charlize. Looks for Tiny in the corner. Throws it back to Charlize in the right wing. She lets it fly. There it is. That's the one she's waiting on right there. Good to go. One of first lead of the game since early in the first quarter. 36-33. 550 and tick the freshman with a huge shot. That was Johnson putting that up. Tiny Frenchman comes down. Oh, with look the ball. at this. She throws it up to Grant. Grant's going to find herself. And puts whoa. it up the left hand. Cannot get it to go. Carnes runs down the offensive rebound. Swing it. Looks around. Swings Swing it over to Cora. Cora throws over to Tiny. Top of the key. She puts it up. Oh! Good to go. Back to back. Freshman threes. Oh! 39 33. Winnebago takes a six point lead. 5 20 and ticket. Ball moving around by the Warriors. Up the, they got the ball up the court. Oh, she finds a Grant. Look, Tony oh, stolen from Grant. Here goes Tiny Frenchman down the right side. She's going to lay it up. There you go. In 41 33, five minutes and ticking. The Warrior Lady Warriors are still fighting here, trying to get the ball up court. Tuttle's got it, she's gonna drive, kicks it back out over there. Our Shambo, our Shambo lets it fly, cannot get it to go, and it's gonna roll off an Indian. Stay here in Santee Ball. Oh, what my goodness, dude, just in that last minute and like 15 or a minute and 30 seconds. When a big would put on a 8 no run with stone. 457 inbound pass, three goes up, Honest cannot rebound. get it to go there from Tuttle. Tiny Frenchman coming down the lane. She's right on top of the key, looking around. Throws it over here to Carnes. Carnes is going to step up. Throws it up to she wants it to look Decora senior night. going to light it up. Throws it up. In and out. Cannot get it to go. Rebound there from Tuttle. We're going the other way. 438 and ticking here. Winnebago up by seven. 
as Tuttle's got Love it. Playing it. great on ball defense yeah. there from Lep or, um, Lovejoy, sorry. Skip pass over. That's going to be to pass Bluebird. Up. Let's go. Oh. Throws it up. Did not get it to go. Sorry. Yeah, that was Bluebird. Frenchman's going to come down with it. She's going to dribble. Look it up. Court. Lala's looking. She throws a long pass over to Court. Court drops a dime to Charlize. Charlize puts it up. There you go. Good to go. Unselfish basketball. Nice. That's what it takes. And one of Bagel finally figured it out. See either that or the Warriors finally ran out of gas with the four girls out there on the court. One Bagel takes a 10 point lead. 4 11 left here in the fourth quarter. Yes, totally taking advantage of the situation of Santee having only four players. We, the last three or four shots that we hit were all open shots. And like you said, Eugene, the fatigue, you can see the fatigue set in on the remaining players of the Santee Lady Warriors team. And uh, that is playing a factor right now with 24 11 left in the fourth quarter. Uh, Winnebago with a 10 point lead. 43 33. One a bagel, 10-0 run. The game was just tied at 33. Santee had options. They've had opportunities on the offensive end. But man, I'll tell you what, it is tough when you're rolling with four girls. You only had the two subs to begin with, yeah. you know, and they've just been fighting this whole game. A lot of credit to them and Coach Tuttle. Yeah, you know, one thing I want to do is I want to give props out to the coaches in the house tonight. Uh, the, two, the two teams right here with uh, uh, Santee and Winnebago, uh, they have all native coaches here. Uh, shout out to those native coaches over there. Uh, back in the day, it wasn't like that, Eugene. A lot of the coaches around here uh, were non-native uh, in these small towns in Nebraska. Carnes hustling through, tips the ball out, ends up falling out of bounds, can stay Santee ball. Yeah, it wasn't until the early 2000s when uh, these native coaches started getting their, co their coaching endorsements and started uh, uh, helping out the communities, uh, not just with uh, high school basketball, but junior high and then at the PV level as well. Archambault gets the ball, throwing up on top. Lovejoy playing on ball defense. Drop it to Johnson. Johnson swings it around over to Archambault. Archambault had the ball looking to do a little sidestep, trying, trying to find herself to get to the basket. Foul from Carnes. And Wendy Archambault is looking to go to the free throw line for, I believe, still one and one, where she where they're almost in the double bonus. Yes, every time he stops the clock, lets the girls get a breather, give them a chance to knock down these free throws here. First free throw up Both off the back teams. iron. Lovejoy gets uh, the rebound, and Harlan's got it. She's going to keep on dribbling. Almost loses it, does lose it, throws it, but it's tipped by one of the Warriors, and it's going to stay right here in Winnebago. Had a wide-open girl on the other side, but I think she was looking to score on that one. It looked like she lost her hand handling on that dribbling with the left hand there. Good defense there from Marshall to tip that ball out. Going to stay right here in the Winnebago side of the, of the court. You got Lovejoy taking it out, looking. You got Lovejoy, Carnes. Sheridan, Flying Hawk, and Harlan in the game. Carnes has got it, throws it over to Lovejoy. Lovejoy launches one on the right side, cannot get it. Sheridan gets the rebound. Oh, another foul. And she steps through, and I believe that's going to be a foul on Johnson. That might be her third? Possibly her third? Yeah, it looked like they, looked like somebody's knee hit a, they might have connected knees on that one. I don't look like it hurt. Yep, Sheridan Ooh, was yeah, stepping it through. That. It should be Sheridan shooting the free throw. All the girls are walking around the free throw. I think somebody else is going to shoot it. I didn't know who was going to shoot she, that I, one. She's trying to shake it off. I think, like I said, they hit kneecaps. <laughs> she's, trying to, she's trying to rub that off. Looks like Decora's ready to sub back in the game here. Winnebago in the double bonus. So Sheridan's going to get two free throws off the front iron. Cannot get it to go. Lovejoy's getting it like it's a one and one. They and blow she, the whistle and everybody has a good smile. Yeah, she had a good laugh on that one. She was the only one hustling. She was wondering why nobody else was moving. <laughs> She's another freshman that's going to play real big minutes out here for the Lady Indians in the future. As Carnes goes out, Decora comes back in. Like I said, they've got a young core Man. of guards right now. Yeah, you know, the next couple of years is going to be nice for Winnebago. Sheridan cannot get that one to go. The wall moving around. Finehawk ends up with it, but then it ends up in Johnson's hands. So we're heading the other way. That was all oh, Johnson's only second foul of the game. I apologize. 3.30 to go here, 10 point game. That's Tuttle with the ball up on top. She's dribbling, trying to get it in. Doesn't like it, throws it back out to uh, Bluebird. Bluebird's got it, throwing it through. Harlan comes through and steps through. Got the tip. Good defense. Dribble it off her own leg. It's gonna stay right here. Warrior ball, 3.17 to go here in the fourth. Inbound pass to Archibald. Archambault, Archambault throwing it over, throwing it over to Tuttle. Tuttle looking around, took the screen from Johnson. She's going to drive it in off the back glass, cannot get it to go. And there's Lovejoy throwing it up to Cherish Finehawk. She's all by herself. Good chase down defense there from Tuttle. Again, man, a lot of credit. These girls are not giving up. No, this, I know uh, Coach Tuttle, he's 
he's probably real, uh, you know, sad that these three girls are sitting down, but he's probably really happy that these other girls that are in here, they're still giving it their all. You know, I don't see any one of these girls slowing down. Yep, inbound pass to Decora. Took a minute to get it to her. Finally got it to her. She puts it up. Going to get a foul. Let's see who this one's going to be on for the Warriors. But, yeah, I feel you guys up there in the lodge. Dion put in there. Call it both ways, man. They've been, they ain't been getting the calls. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Bluebird going to pick up her second foul of the game. Decora at the free throw line. First one. Good to go. Extending that lead up to 11. Yeah, I'm looking around out of the crowd. I see a lot of local legends from here in Winnebago. I'm looking over to the Santee side and see the same thing last side. Decora's second shot is up and good. Extending. She's got she's got to be pushing almost 10 points now in this game. She may be the leading scorer right now for Winnebago. Unless one of that Frenchman girls went to pass her up. That's Tuttle. Oh, nice Great. left. Right hand, right side, left hand layup on scoop. that one. Little scoop Off shot. Gleasy. Got it to go. Still got a 10 point game here, folks. 242 to go. And it looks like Flynhawk wants ah. the ball. She is camping out underneath. Drops the pass down to Decora. Decora turns around, throws it on out to Harlan. Harlan launches the three up off the front iron. Tipped around. Lovejoy ends up with it. Tips it out to Decora. Decora's Decora going to fire that one up. Off oh! The Gets the off three to go. Gleasy. Senior night. 48 35, 218 and ticking. You got to leave everything on the court. Warriors got the ball. That's Johnson's going to launch that three. Gets hers to go on the left side. And we're going to get a timeout from Coach Tuttle. I'm telling you guys, you're rolling for your player of the game. I'm telling you who's got my vote right now, man. That's going to be Decora. <laughs> She's having herself a heck of a game yeah, on senior, senior night. On senior night here in Winnebago. I enjoy watching these girls play basketball. Eugene, think back to when your little girl was. Uh, barely even playing pee wee ball, and look at her last night here in high school. You make me choke up, man. Knock hitting, it off, man. Hitting, Holy hitting, cat. Hitting threes off the glass. Getting herself getting in the free throw line. Yep, you got to love it, man. Yep. So. Getting her opportunity out here. I really wish my niece Ari was here, though, man. That's my goddaughter right there. And, man, I tell you what, if she was here, that girl might have had 30 tonight, you yeah. know, but... Prayers to her. Hope she feels better. Gets on back quickly. Gonna need her here coming up in the postseason. All right, we got two minutes left, guys. Two minutes left in the fourth quarter here. Winnebago holding on to a 10-point lead. It looks like it's gonna be a free throw game for the rest of the time here. 209 left here in the fourth. Inbound as the clock is still not, it's not a running clock right now. It's only a 10-point game, folks. Long pass over here to Lovejoy on the right side. She's got it. Tees it up. Long skip pass to Decora. She's going to back it out. Throws it to Harlan. Harlan back here. to Decora. Decora for Decora three. lets it go. A little up. It, it bounced around like it was going to go in. They throw it back out here to Decora. She's going to tee it up. Get it out gets here. blocked <laughs> by Tuttle. Get that stuff out of here, Tuttle said. As she drives it off the left hand with the glass. Tuttle is not giving hey, up on that the one, man. The crowd goes crazy. The Lodge is going crazy. And what? Oh, 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 Shambo gets the steal, no. gets the layup, and the foul. Warrior Lodge, get on your feet. Oh, holy cow. This game ain't over, folks. 133. We got a six-point game right now. Winnebago's down here having fun. Kelsey's bombing the ball away, but you're not like, you're not making them shots. Santee comes down on the other end, and they're just getting it to go right now, man. Oh, a lot man. of credit to these girls, dude. Yeah, I'm telling dude. you. Wendy is playing a great game, our shamble. She's playing yeah. a great game right now. She's been at the free throw line almost this last, you know, six minutes or so. Yeah, what a what a change of events real quick. Like went from a 10-point lead to right now a six-point lead. Possibly, possibly a five-point lead. As Decora and Flying Hawk take their curtain call, they're gonna step away from this game, and I believe that's gonna be their last minutes here. As Sheridan comes down with the rebound, they're going to throw it up out here to Carnes, and Carnes going to go for the travel. Warriors get what? the ball back. With with a six, only a six-point lead right here, that's kind of huge. Let's see what these Santee girls can pull off now. Pull off a miracle here. Tuttle's got the ball. Lovejoy with on-ball defense top. Tuttle's just going to drive it in. Puts it up. Off the glass. Cannot get it to go. Rebound by Tiny Frenchman. Throws it up to Carnes. Carnes is dribbling down the right side. Pushing the ball up the court. She gets it up to Charlize. Charlize gets it. But Charlize going to get the turnover. At this point, I understand you want your girls to have fun and bomb the ball up and whatnot, but you ain't making nothing right now. It's a six-point game right now. A minute 13 to go here in the fourth. Both teams in the double bonus. Inbound over there, Tuttle. She's got it looking up. Throws it up to Bluebird. Bluebird steps through. She's finding herself in the open lane. She's going to go up and fouled by Tiny Frenchman. 
And now Bluebird's going to have two free throws to so make this a possible four-point game. Yeah, huge, huge free throws right now for number 11, Bluebird. I want to see a really good game to the end, so I hope she knocks this down. What do we tell you, folks? These games ain't over like that, man. This Santee crowd is loud right now. Ooh. First free throw is good to go, folks. Five-point game. 106, 48, 43. And hey, you know, a minute and six seconds, along with some timeouts, is this, that's a long time for a basketball game. That's a long basketball. Second free throw, not good. One bagel. Karn's coming down. Looks up, doesn't see it. She's looking. She tilts it up. Does not get it to go. Late, late whistle. Call. Late whistle. As Karn went to go get the layup. Hey, Dion, I think that's one of the calls you were talking about. That was a late whistle. That ball was already on, almost to the ground by the time the whistle blew on that one. We're sticking up for Santee here now that Kelsey's out of the game. Ah. Karn's at the free throw line. First one, good to go. Puts the lead back up to six. 58 seconds left here in the fourth period. Yeah, it's still a two possession game right now. Gotta sink this one here and make it three. Free throw up and it's good. Three possession game right now. Here we so go. Santee does. 50 to 43, 55 seconds ticking. Tuttle's got it. She's gonna push down the left side. She's gonna hand it off over there to Johnson. Johnson puts it up off the glass. Cannot get it to go. Lovejoy rebound. Throws it up to Charlize. Charlize down the left side. She holds the ball. Pulls it out. Carnes has got it. Charlize is going to tee up that three. She oh! can go. That's the dagger, folks. Back up to 10. The young, 35 seconds dude, to go. The young lady, the freshman with the dagger. Carnes with the steal. Miss pass. She's going to get this layup. And there it is, folks. That might be your ball game. 22 seconds in ticket. Warriors throw it in. Getting across the timeline. Archambault launches yeah. a long three. Off the glass. Cannot get it to go. Lovejoy bringing it, it up. Just dribble it and out. Yeah, dribble it out right here. No reason to shoot. Lovejoy throws it over to Carnes on the right side. You know hey, what? a lot of credit to these Bro, ladies, man. Hats off to Coach Tuttle and his uh, Lady Warriors team. They played amazing tonight. He, that score right there, 55 to 43, that doesn't really tell Do the, the game entire, justice. No, yeah. doesn't tell the entire story of this game. Definitely, definitely a really good game for these uh, uh, Lady Warriors here. And hats off to all the seniors. Yep. Hats off to all yep. the seniors. Cherish Flying Hawk. Kelsey DeCora, one of the managers, Miss Tylea, or Kylie Garnett. Like I said, player of the game for us, Kelsey DeCora, earned it on this one. You know, they had a great job showing out here. Great job from Cherish. Uh, quick station identification, KWTN 100.9, Allen, Nebraska, Big Voice Radio. Shout out to our sponsors, Native Star Casino, Avery Brothers Sign Company, TB Customs, Big Time Cleaning LLC, Ho Chunk Incorporated, and Iron Horse Bar and Casino. What a game, folks. I'm glad you guys were all here to witness it. Be part of it. Enjoy it with us. Like I said, we love hearing you guys' comments all up in our YouTube chat, in the Facebook chat. That's the one I'm looking at right now is the YouTube chat. So, again, hey, Dion's giving all these people a shout-out here. Way to go. Way to go, girls, both teams. I love that heart sportsmanship that they both showed. Agreed to you there, sir. Yes, sir. And, Dion, got to commend you and all the staff from the past because I know that uh, some of the workers that helped you uh, with these high school girls here, uh, they're out there too. So hats off to all you guys for all the work you put in with these young athletes here. All right, folks. Yeah, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to switch the streams. I got to give my daughter a hug. So appreciate you guys all being here, and we'll be back.